Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to take a look at how to solve step 9 of the Cheat Engine tutorial. So let's open the tutorial first. The 64-bit version. And then just go straight to step 9. Just click skip all the way to step 9. Okay, so this is step 9. So, we will attach Cheat Engine to the game. Tutorial, click open. So we will attach it as you can see. As you can see. So now the objective is to, when you, um, when the player attacks you, you lose health. So the objective is not to lose health, but in, instead to cause the uh, enemy enemy are the two computers here to lose health so you are in team A player 1 and player 2 is your team and then player 3 and player 4 is the computer which is the enemy so how do we write a script that will enable you to uh, become invincible that means when the player attacks you when the player attacks you means you click here your health will not go down. Instead, um, you will kill the enemy. All right. When you click attack, you it will kill the enemy. Uh, so, first thing you need to do is you have to locate the addresses in memory, uh, which stores the health for all these four. So to do that, we'll do a scan. And the tip here is that the health is a float, so we can straight away select value type as float. And over here, we can uh, do a first scan, 81, to scan for player 1. So, put 81 and first scan. And you, this is player 1. You can confirm it. When you click on this attack, it changes 79, 76. So, that confirms it. So, let's put it in the cheat table. And then, call it player 1. But P1 is player 1. And then now we go for player 2 and now we scan 90, 95 click next scan sorry new scan and then first scan 95 so you have two so we click uh, attack and see which one lights up click attack Eric and you see this one lights up into red previously 95 and now reduced to 90 so we add this and call this player 2 p2 now we try to identify where in which address stores the uh, health for computer 1 and computer 2. So we'll click a new scan and search 497 in uh, memory. 497 and first scan. So we don't know which one. So just attack the player and see which one lights up. So the first one lights up from 497 drops to 496. So this is computer number 1. So we call it C1 for computer one. Computer one. Now the last one is 498. So new scan. Scan for 498 in memory. Click for scan. And we have only one. Let's confirm it. Click attack. And it lights up. 497. See? So it's correct. So this is a add this to the cheat table. And this is C2. Call it C2. Okay. So now, if you wanted to make yourself invincible, you have to go and find the uh, location in memory where the instruction is found. And then we have to write a script for that. So, let's uh, see what uh, writes to this address. Right click and find out what writes to this address. You attach debugger, yes. And now we attack. And we see this is the instruction which writes uh, to this address. However, in this case here, it not only writes to this address, it writes to all, all, all four, because uh, this instruction is a, a generic instruction which applies to all objects in the game. So we have to see how to differentiate between each of these players. So to find out uh, which uh, object is uh, uh, health is being accessed by this single instruction, we have to right click and uh, sorry we, we click on show that this is in the assembler first and then from here you right click 
and find out what addresses this instruction accesses. Okay, so click on this, and now we will then simulate an attack on Dave to see which address is being accessed by this instruction. All right, so this is uh, the address which uh, stores the Dave's uh, uh, object, uh, health object, the, the health of Dave. And then now we're going to click on the second one. And then we see this is 87. So this is the address of Eric health. Now we click on the computer one. And this is computer uh, one. And click on the last one. And we see it's the last one. The, the values confirm it 71, 84, 495, 496, as you can see here. So this confirms that this single instruction accesses four different objects. So these are the objects, uh, the health, the health member of each of these objects. Now in uh, programming, every object has got its own uh, structure. A structure is a kind of um, uh, storage for uh, the variables for each of the objects. And uh, it is very common for uh, programs to create, when a programmer writes a program, it will create multiple objects, also known as multiple instances uh, of, of each object. And uh, each object will have its own uh, mem variable for health. So this is a variable location of the variables for each of the player's health. And each of these variables is contained within each own player's object. So next task is to find out where are these objects located in memory so that we can differentiate between uh, the four the four different uh, players okay now we can go ahead and select all these four here and try to find the location in memory uh, where these addresses are found and compare them in the uh, using a structure dissection method so let's go here and select right click and select open dissect data with selected address and click ok to create a and you can call it anything you want maybe we call it uh, uh, struct struct yeah click yes so that cheat engine will try to make sense out of the uh, location of the four addresses so here we can find four different uh, uh, addresses containing four different objects the first one is for player one second one is for player two third one is for player three and player four and chip engine more or less guess uh, the types for each one and looks like it has guessed correctly now those parts in red means that you can use it to differentiate between each object's uh, data for example this is address 71 this this address here is the health at offset 8 so 0, 00 means the base address for the structure in memory what is a structure a structure is just a object which is located in memory an object contains members and variables and other things so uh, each object contains its own member members so if you have uh, four different objects each one will have similar variables like for example this variable here uh, at 008 offset stores health so and this variable here at 0019 stores the name for each of the object so we have to find a way to differentiate team A team from team B or team 1 from team 2. So we are in team 1. What is common between team 1 but different with team three, uh, team 2? So we can see here nothing, right? So and also uh, we can find here there's something missing, right? Like for example here the address 8 then jumps to 12 and then jumps to 16 and then 16 jumps to 24 right so the 16 jumps to 24 so something is missing right uh, after 16 should be 20 so if that is missing we can add our own own element to it all right so right click and just add element and add offset uh, 14 all right so this is hex so remember that and maybe we can call this team number team number right and the type should be bytes so four bytes and click ok and suddenly you see uh, we can notice the difference here team one has got uh, one for this uh, variable team two has got two for this variable 
Okay, notice here that we are not modifying the tempering the memory at all. We are just creating a filter to understand the structure in memory. Try to make sense of it. This is the purpose of this exercise, right? To create artificial structures to make sense of what uh, is located at those memory addresses. And we found that when we were to um, create a new offset here, which was missing just now, we managed to make sense of uh, this uh, data here as 1, 1, here 2, 2. So using that, we can differentiate between team A and team B, right? And we can write our script to differentiate it there. Okay, so now we can uh, do that. We can close this now. And uh, we can go to this location. Go, uh, we can go to tools and auto assemble and create a AOB injection at this uh, address here. We're going to inject our script. Okay, so here the first thing we need to do is to differentiate. So we can differentiate using this uh, offset. Let me just copy this and paste here. So the offset here is offset 14, 1, 4. Offset 1, 4. RBX plus 1, 4. We are going to compare it with whether it's number 1 or 2. If it's, uh, if it's 2, we know that it's the enemy. See that? If it's 1, it is a player, our own team. So if we find that it is an enemy, we want to decrement the health. So we jump straight to the uh, code that decrements the health. Right? So this is the code which decrements the health. Right? So we jump to the code. Decrement the health means... Okay, how do you know this is for health? Because offset 8 is health. See this? Offset 8, 71, 84, 495, 496 matches up with this. So this must be the health. Alright, so only for enemy, we jump to this code which decrements health. Okay, so we should use jump equal. Jump equal, right? Then we jump here. But if it's not an uh, enemy, if it's a player 1, uh, which is if it's team 1, then we um, don't jump. Instead, we continue. Uh, we uh, will jump to the exit. That means jump to an exit point. Exit point should be should be here, or we just return directly. We can just return. Uh, jump to. We can just uh, jump to return. R e t u r n directly like that. So here, jump to return means you go down here and then return. Just like here, this part here when it finishes exit exiting ex execution. It will jump to return. So we emulate it. We also jump to return when uh, we finish the code here. Right. So this part here, you compare with 2. If it's 2 means it is an enemy, we will jump to code and reduce the enemy's life in a normal way. But if it's not equal to 2, that means it's our own team. If it's our own team, this part will not be equal. So it won't jump. You come here and jump to return instead over here. Okay. So we can attach this to a cheat table now and test our script by activating it and try to decrease our health and we find that our health will not go down even though we are being attacked. But if we click on this, the health will continue to go down. But this is quite slow for it to go down. We can uh, restart again autoplay and immediately it will go down straight to zero and they are dead. So we have managed to solve this challenge. Okay. <coughs> Uh, a few other variations you could try is instead of uh, waiting for it to go down to uh, zero uh, click by click, what you can do is straight away move zero to uh, RBX uh, plus zero eight. Okay, that means instead of writing this code, we can just move uh, straight away move. Let me comment out this code. We can move straight away RBX uh, plus uh, eight. We can move 0 to it. That means straight away instantaneously kill it. Okay. Straight away move 0 and click OK. So now we activate the script again and restart the game. And now if we click our own player, we are invincible. But if we click this one, straight away drops to 0. See that? Instantaneously. No need to click on multiple times. Alright. So that solves this challenge. Alright. There's another extra uh, thing which is uh, 
I want to tell you, what if you just want your invincibility for Dave alone? So if you just want invincibility for Dave alone, then you would write a different kind of script. So what you would do is, uh, you you would copy this, the same code here. Oh, now my, let me open another window here. So we write another different script. So this script is invincibility for invincibility. Invin invincibility invincible for team team one insta kill insta kill for computer like that right now what if you want to be invincible only for Dave or how we will do that or well, this is something extra okay beyond the the uh, uh, objective so let me show you how to do that so we are going to write another script now, go to tools and here auto assemble and click on template. It will be injection. Same location, we're going to inject the code. Alright, over here we are going to make a different kind of comparison this time. So this time we are going to compare the name. So the comparing for comparing names, the offset is different. It's offset 19. Alright, so offset 19 is rbx rbx plus 19 so at offset 19 we compare uh, with the name Dave let's type in the string but this is a pointer comparison it needs to tell the compiler the uh, the assembler uh, that we are comparing a uh, double word 4 bytes so we have to put a pointer uh, prefix to tell the compiler uh, the uh, assembler that is uh, Double four bytes pointer. Otherwise, it doesn't know the, the size. You see, so when it, you put a D word here, you just compare four bytes. D A V is four bytes. All right, and then now, uh, if it's if it's a day, we can do the same thing. This one will jump to um, uh, code, jump to code, and do the do the damage, whatever damage that you want to do. All right, it will jump to there. Otherwise, you will jump to uh, return, just like in the previous script. Okay, so this is how you can just just invincibility only for Dave. Okay, so now you attach to the uh, assign to the current table, close this, and we test it. So now we enable this uh, Dave's invincibility, and just click Dave. All right, something is wrong. Let me correct it. RBX plus 19, is it correct? RBX plus 19. Okay, sorry, it should be jump not equal. Yeah, if it's not equal, if it's not diff, then you will go to uh, re reduce the health. Otherwise, you will continue straight ahead and then jump to return here and exit. Okay, so let's okay this now and re activate and now we click and you see you got invincibility for Dave but for Eric no invincibility and then of course okay let's restart the game Dave has in invincibility Eric does not have computer not invincible okay so th uh, that's, how, that's all for this uh, video uh, thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe and share See you next time.